This is backstage. This is where we were doing the shows with costume and sound. When we're doing any quick changes, the actors come off stage and it can be a quick change from five minutes to 15 seconds. We're working on Taming the Shrew at the moment and that is quite a labour intensive show. We've got everybody with wigs on, which is not always usual. Um, it's because the designer and director wanted to swap the male and female roles. So not dress men up as women or women as men, but just illustrate by using hair and makeup a women's status. The first contact I have with the show is usually with a designer. These are the designers for Shrew. You can see there's quite a lot here. After we've got over the shock of it, there's going to be a lot of work, um, we get down to going over. Oh, that's quite exciting. And this is a lovely wig. And just a few of these wigs here that we've already set up. Um, like Claire Price is playing Petruchia and this is her wig so this is what we've started off with and we will curl it and dress it out into a wild mad look whereas the men in the show so like James Cooney who is this beautiful black wig um, we will uh, roller it and make it quite soft he's Bianca in the show. Swapping characters for male and female is, is sort of more relevant for the play, that he's more feminine. So as soon as we've done that, we start seeing everybody in the show um, and we make shells, which is uh, basically a form of somebody's head. OK, so we've just pink curled Charlie's hair, so we're going to put a stocking cap on, and then Rach and I are going to have some cling film. So we place the cling film on, that's the base of our shell, and then we're going to use some sanitate around the circumference of Charlie's head. We could do this process for 20 actors, or we could do this process just for three or two actors at a time. We try to get them ready sort of at least six or eight weeks in advance um, so that we can at any point work on an actor's head without them being here. We quite like that actually. <laughs> Knotting the front of a wig, so we use one or two hairs at a time and in different directions according to which part of the front it is, that's why there's a few lines drawn on it, so those would go that way and then these would lay over the top of each other. It is really time consuming, depending on how fast or slow you are. So you've got the little loop and then once you're through the the bar, you can pick up a hair or two and then knot it through. It probably doesn't help that this is white hair. <laughs> As soon as we've done that, the designer comes back in. We fit the wig onto the actor, and that's the first time the actor has seen it. Usually, what we find, to be honest, is somebody will put a wig on and go, That's my character. That's amazing. That's what I want it to be. Might be with a few tweaks, but most of the time, we've already done most of our job. <laughs> So the purpose of the technical rehearsal period is for us to make sure that the needs of the show and the actor are met. So that might mean rehearsing quick changes. It's almost like a ballet that we work out around an actor to get them back on stage on time. Through the technical, that's when we work out whether a change will take 
two minutes or 30 seconds or 10 minutes. When an actor comes into the wig room, they could have had a really bad day. So you have to react in all sorts of circumstances. Sometimes an actor will want to come in and rant at you. They want to come in and cry with you. And you have to be very sensitive to all those things. But mainly to bolster them back up to walk out of the wig room and go on that stage. There's a real skill to taking care of that actor and it's really important for them to have that experience and that good experience uh, within the wig room.